Hi everyone here, so welcome to an amazing and amazing new morning. Yes, it is Rabia Elise and it is our people of color morning. We planned that for Monday we had some Wi-Fi issues and we sorted Wi-Fi out. So that is social media, right? There's gonna be those days that you plan things that you will not that you are not gonna maybe be there, but that is such is this universe, it's amazing. And we sometimes, uh, some things are sometimes out of our management, right? Out of our management control, out of our way of controlling things, right? Of how we manage things in this world and success our generation currently. And that's what we want to talk about today with our leading this generation, with Rabia Elise, with our monthly discussions. I know we talk about a lot of things, but I also know the world requires a lot of education. So let's always remind ourselves of that when we decide to have every discussion in its own time in its own way and when people think are you now wanting to be angry again about something no you are wanting to speak up for that that might prevent certain situations to be out of control and that is where we do not wait on someone to tell us what what we have to do but we allow ourselves to listen to what's required of you as a person you would know yourself as a person you would know what you do you would know where you are required to be at with your with your choices and with how you represent in our generation and then you exactly find to do that and that has been my education now for quite some time on our social pages where i really require everyone to really find what it is that they are fine with and do that right do it in a way that you have gotten familiar with where you are at in your season what how you represent in your season what what where you are required to represent in our generation and then do exactly that because our generation really requires everyone to educate and to give an opinion and to give advice people are really constantly listening to advice and really trying to implement those processes that are not going to be non-abusive for our generation so that's where we at with our leading gener this generation discussion with people of color and with this month we want to focus on that that is gonna have our generation listen to what is gonna be the requirement for us to get out of that that is the poverty part of the poverty state of our generation but that is also that that has our generation so aggressive right because now it's not only the poverty poverty goes hand in hand with the abuses remember but we want our 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 generation to listen to that there is a non-aggression side of how you manage a circumstance and how you get really out of that there is an argument in our generation and that so many are ready to just defend themselves and then sometimes they are just required to maybe give an opinion so that someone else can be fine and so that they can find themselves fine but where they're required to be at and that's why evoke always educate in an opinion native way not in a way that we require anyone to go and vote and no but we learn that people are listening to your opinion and that our opinions should be there for being non abusive when we give up when we give our opinions on our social pages and how we voice on our social pages our opinions abusive we always say is going to be it's going to be there that someone else might not agree with but as human beings we learn to say that you know what abusive to me might be might be someone Rabia saying it in a loud voice, right? Or Rabia saying this today and she puts on the television and she learned that the situation in the world is this. And then Rabia argues and say, Rabia yourself, the type of person that Rabia is, is not gonna now go and say something to go and aggress our generation. Because Rabia at least will exactly find herself in that, that is gonna be fine. And I exactly respond to that, that is protective and that is required sometimes with where our generation finds themselves at. And therefore, when we voice and when we give our opinions concerning circumstances in our countries, we really need to listen to the you in your season. You need to listen to what type of person are you. And therefore, when you give your opinion about it, your opinion would always be received in that uh, that is the you in your in your season. And that is where you find you in your season or that with what you are giving an opinion on, right? And it is that that our leading gener this generation discussion 
is where we started with an amazing people of color, black and white over root, with an attitude that is not going to be abusive to the other, right? That attitude that someone else sometimes wants to argue with you when you say black and white over root with color, and they sometimes only want to explain it in their way. And then there will be a least type of person would then say, but if I would now look at someone else's opinion concerning black and white over root with color, then I will explain it in a way that is going to also be non-abusive to our generation. And that's what I want our television people to learn it is that when we learn that the, the, the generation is so aggressive about a lot of things and we educate on television then the only thing we sometimes in such circumstances require television to do and television presenters and the television programs that they prepare is to consider the complete situation of what is happening in the world and therefore when you give your opinion or when you prepare your television program you prepare it in a way that's also going to not aggress the generation generation that's also not gonna have our generation be abusive to the other that's also not you arguing about maybe with another political leader with what you are saying but always decide to have an opinion that is firm but an opinion that gives that that might be protective to someone else but that is not now something that you now find yourself in argument with someone else because remember Television is not there for people to manipulate one another and to get to the to get the opportunity to come and speak on television and to tell someone what they feel of someone. No, television is there to educate our generation in general and to have our generation learn from one another and to learn that we are representatives in our generation and to learn that where we are at, we are in a leading seat and in a leading time in our generation. Yes, I saw past the T.D. Jakes' video, Bishop T.D. Jakes' video, that he's also sitting on a seat and many of us has decided to sit on a seat today to say that sometimes we are leading without realizing that the seat that you are sitting on means so much, but in the seat that you are sitting on, you are required to sit just so and to not say anything or to not address anyone or to not abuse anyone, but to also find way to learn that on the seat, you're not going to now close your fist and hit someone, right? And that gives you a little bit of control of how you speak and how you react concerning the other but the own the also the one advantage of this seat is the seat cannot be manipulated right because remember what the olden people always used to teach us about the seat is that some people when you get into the houses this is the seat that they have sat in for 100 years and this seat some old people let me tell everyone the 100 years generation that this seat with some old people does not negotiate this seat with nothing they will sit on this seat and if anyone enters the houses and the person sit on this very seat then it agrees the person who comes in and the elder people would be like why do you sit on my seat today why because some of these situations in this world are sometimes so that we just have to sometimes have ourselves in a seat and we don't react and we don't say anything and we don't regress anyone so today my education for every representative in this world that finds themselves in a seat today that they are sometimes there with they sometimes have to learn that this seat is very precious this seat is 130 years for many people the bible says those years the seat was 500 years yes generations were sitting in their seats for 500 years we do not know if it could have ever happened it can mean anything to our generation in the 500 years that we are educated about but what it means for us in our generation is that how we control where we are at in our season how we represent with where we are representing from in our season how we control what it is that we decide upon in our season the choices that we make has got everything to do with this calm seed that you are not gonna get aggressed about that you are realize that someone else has educated you about this seed and this seed just does does not come cheap no you don't negotiate that this seat is very protective but you don't sit in a seat in our generation maybe that's on television ruby i least always say and no one abuses our television viewers because ruby i least constantly sit in the house and I remember those years our parents educated us and that they switched their televisions off in the morning 10 o'clock and they switched it on in the afternoon 2 o'clock because sometimes this really abusiveness is happening in our generation and it really sometimes happened you know, from television. 
But what I want to educate our presenters today is that when you learn that those years people switch your, their televisions off, then do not be arrogant with, people, with your viewers to tell them that you all have to decide to put your television off. No! If you, learn, if you have learned that, then you tell the viewers, People, if the television is, if some things on television are challenging, then there's times that y'all can sometimes switch. I have television programs that educate our generation in all of that that they are required to be educated, right? It is that that you don't sit on your television, on your television a presenting scene, and then you go and abuse our viewers, and then the viewers sit, and then the viewers is like, what? But I just switch on to watch a television program, and you are looking like you are really going through my Facebook page, and really going through my Instagram page and you are not doing that to be saying that you are with me in my season you are doing that to aggress me and at that time you don't have that aggression with your viewer to teach your viewer that the viewer must switch the television off no, because you teach the viewer that if television gets gets aggressive, then they might that might they might be that they that they switch the television off. You don't go and treat them in a way that it is uh, that you then switch the television off. Rabia Elise always educates, and I always say that you do not abuse the viewers because those years our parents taught us that television can be challenging that we can switch it off early in the morning 10 o'clock that we can watch it the whole day also because some people sit in front of the whole television all day and some old people say i've been doing this for 100 years already and they were fine with it so that education and the manipulation that is happening out in the race and do not go and then people out in the now young children should not go and then abuse our countries because i'm gonna be firm on what i'm gonna discuss today and that is our united house of meeting that includes the international national nation our new zealand house of meeting that includes our international nation our european house of meeting that includes our international nation our south african house of meeting our united nations parliamentary leaders house and our african nations voice also in our generation the chinese house of meeting the designs and the producers and the manufacturers for our generation and that brings our generation together with russia ukraine and that is also managers the managing the important businesses in our generation and therefore the the house is one, our generation is one, there's Greenland, yes, there's Australia, yes, but our house of meetings should not be manipulated. And I'm going to discuss that with us today with leading this generation. And I want nobody to manipulate what I say. I want nobody to go and abuse people when I'm done speaking. But I want everyone to listen to how the world has been managed, but to apply that something new requirement that is that attitude that is going to be protective for everyone. Because we learned that the house of meeting was a of, we learned that the American House was one of the main important House of Meetings for our international country and our international nations, right? And I always say country, I don't know why, because we are one nation, one country. All the world used to be one country in general, yes. So the International American House you used to be the International House of Meeting, where certain communications from the universe communicates directly to the American House. The parliamentary leaders, United Nations House, and all the parliamentary leaders of houses is an important communication line. Yes, King Charles, we do not disregard that you are also an important communication line. We do not disregard, yes, Putin and Zelensky's house, you all have also been an important part. Everyone in our generation is an important part. Every country in our generation is an important part. But I want to first focus on the disagreements that happened in the House of Meeting in the United States of America because New Zealand is where the sun starts in the morning and New Zealand is now in that phase of education where Rabia Elise is in the house and Rabia Elise is not going to have the New Zealand viewers be abused. Rabia Elise is not going to have the international people that travels to New Zealand be abused and Rabia Elise is definitely not going to have all the arguments that started in other countries to now have an effect in New Zealand meeting because New Zealand meeting is not now in competition with America America, no, the processes are intertwined with the other and we require everyone to listen to how to manage these processes so that the world is not so aggressive with the other and so that everyone learns that the something new that is applied in New Zealand is now not the American house and is now moving to the New Zealand house. No, it is that, that our generation are intertwining in a different part of communication from the universe. But we need to learn to communicate in that that is going to be non-abusive to our countries and therefore I'm going to say 
explain today the house of america that is the united house of meeting and the house of new zealand today that is rising in season and that it is the international house of meeting when it comes to managing the offices and that when it comes to managing important processes also in our generation i realize that everyone's country's people are in new zealand yes for a reason but it looks like no one realizes what is happening but let me explain to you all what a bs opinion concerning my education that i've had in the offices not in management meetings no but in the universe communication as well as where i've been employed in auckland new zealand ever since 2017 in the human resources function of the new zealand yes of the new zealand office environment and i'm going to explain to everyone now what i'm going to give my opinion on and i do not want anyone to abuse the world on it because remember that's why people did not want me in the celebrity house because i'm very on point about that that is abusive and that that is non-abusive and i'm not gonna agree with processes that is gonna abuse our generation further further i am in auckland new zealand yes no one has invited me to be there i have met dorian Roder, and when i arrived there everyone said why is Rubia there and Rubia was actually probably meant to be there and no one realized that so while we are at it I'm gonna explain us through this I'm just gonna have a cup of a bit of tea thank you Yes, yeah, so where we where we are at with the United States House of Meeting. The United States House of Meeting is a very important communication line of our generation. And our generation's very important part of the communication line that comes from a different part of the universe that communicates and educates us from the United States of America. And the United States of America is really everyone in our generation has had the representatives in the United States of America. And our representatives, everyone traveled to America because everyone has been educated many years ago that the communication line of our generation is where we have a house of meeting and there from our generation are being educated and there from certain important processes in our countries are being managed. And then when the process then were, were, were intertwined with different countries that had the same processes implemented, there was then that different part of education that Arabia calls the something new edit when the information went from this United House of America to our different countries, our different countries also had their something new added in the information that is that that is required for the country in where they were educated from. So it is not that the United States of America only educated our generation in this function, in this function. No, they educated on the completeness of the amazingness of the universe and all that we might experience and all that we might be required to educate us and on all that we might find that that is that there is our generation in that that we call a vacation and right that we call entertainment life and that we call that that our generation finds the that that is like almost a warehouse becomes a home let me explain it in that way right but it is that that brings a gladness to our generation and so the house of meeting in america were then always attended by a representative from every country and the representative from every country would always find themselves in the education that goes from the house of america to our different countries and the house of america was was has managed the process in a way all these years that it was non-abusive and everyone knew that they traveled to the house of america and everyone traveled there for a certain process and everyone educated from there and certain processes were managed from there and that's how our generation then used to be the generation that they call a hundred years another generation where people just want to kill and kill one another the whole time it was really a generation that our elderly people when the communication came in it was many that the elderly people didn't have to have either even have to worry about the processes because our countries were calm about it the management team was managing it well the parliamentary leaders leaders was really implementing that that they were educated the communications that was required in the different countries Countries, and there was really that management teams that were really non-abusive to our countries and therefore when saying that I want to have us listen to the teams that are managing these processes in, the, in our countries and from the international 
perspective of that that is the house of meeting of the united states of america where still meetings are to do it today there's communications that goes to the to them that needs to go to different countries but if the representatives are not there then the countries are like you know like the representative that i just talked about on television that says that you can switch your television off if you feel that i'm abusive to you you know that attitude of it so yes the part the house of america is sometimes being like that that they say that you almost must know to travel there you almost must know to have money to fly to there and to come and be in the meetings and to come and hear what you are required to implement in your countries but it is that that what i want to educate our our parliamentary leaders and what I also want to educate our American House of Meeting team is to not aggress our generation with the arrogance of how the managing process was happening. Because now it seems like America is only a celebrity house to the world and only you only go there to New York when you get the opportunity to be there and you need to have a flight. But now everyone are being blocked to go to New York because people are now deprived of having an income because otherwise everyone would just come and fly in and there are certain processes that is already so out of control in America that some part of the world that sometimes wants to get right and want to not argue about because they have argued about the processes for years. But what I want to say is that the, the New World Order then came in right where I was employed at Fakarangaroa in Auckland, New Zealand in 2022. And when I was employed at Fakarangaroa, the House of Meeting of America team communicated to Fakarangaroa details that was meant for a beer in Lee's right? And then they, they are like, you know, she must get a communication line from here. And if she doesn't work, she doesn't work on that day. And then that became a problem for me in general. Because really after June 2022, Fakarangarawa, I was really not employed again, right? Because of that whole manipulation of the process. And I really was now not going to argue with anyone or go aggressive to the officers to, that, there's no really, that is not really dealing with this process, right? And I, I've really decided to not be aggressive about it, but to really voice from where I'm required to be at, right? And I really want to say to our management teams that are really in argument about the House of Meeting and about the people in the in the international world uh, that really knows the process and that really sometimes only requires the process to be managed thoroughly right I really want to advise you all to not be aggressive with what is already such an aggressive part of our generation, right? Because everyone is looking for answers on why the world is looking like that. Everyone wants to know why the world is so abused and why the world is so manipulated and so in poverty. But I want to really speak about the office environment in Auckland, New Zealand, that goes hand in hand with the International House of Meeting of America, that includes every country's financial circumstances, that includes every country's education that includes every country's provision education that includes the parliamentary leadership of every country that is happening from the international house of meeting that now is auckland new zealand also that now is the house of america that now is the voice of Putin because Putin manages most important pro pro projects in our generation right and he hasn't been introduced to our generation yet and now we learn to be introduced to him in a war and we're standing at it Season. So he deals with the aggressive part of our generation a lot. He deals with, with listening to the mafia teams a lot. He deals really with trying to work with them so that the situation doesn't get so out of control. And he really tries to give people what they sometimes request because sometimes some people just want what they sometimes want. They want to live in a certain way and they don't negotiate about that. that. And that's where Peter and Lensky finds themselves in that scene. That is that, that the mafia teams always were dependent on them. China is also that dubious that they always were dependent on when they really are aggressive in our generation and when they really are part of our generation and then when they really just want to be who they are in our generation. So that's where we shouldn't abuse the situation in Ukraine and Russia because Ukraine and Russia are never, are never not family of one another. And I want to educate everyone about that. Ukraine and Russia are really an important part of men in our generation really listens to Putin and Zelensky a lot and they are really really look up to them as being
being parents and fathers in our generation. I have learned it from my own experience, but I can tell you there's a lot of people that would not disagree with me about it. And they really find that protectiveness in Putin and Zelensky. So no one in our generation should work Putin and Zelensky against one another because Zelensky, Russia, Ukraine are the one family, yes, they are one house in the situation they shouldn't be abused, right? We want them to really discuss what the matter is and to not abuse their voice in our generation because both of them really are important part of our generation and we really shouldn't disregard the education that we learn about all the different countries. What I then want to say about New Zealand is that there is the management of a lot that requires our generation to not be aggressed about but to have control over everything in our generation that might seem like a lot of colors but then the education when the education is done in a proper way then it would be non-abusive and non-aggressive in our countries and that's what i want to discuss about our new zealand generation and about our new zealand country and we where the education is now in a different way it's now not the same education but it's now not in disagreement or it's now not in argument with the united states of america because the education Locations are different and the requirements for every country are different in our season. And our generation would have to learn to listen to what what will be educated about our generation in general, rather than arguing about the arguments that some people were arguing about for maybe for many years, and maybe because some people wanted to manage it in a certain way. But we are in that that our generation is in so much argument that we are going to have to learn to listen to what are we required to implement, rather than that that our generation and sometimes only one to have happen because it's happening in this way and it's happening like that for many years. It is a something new that's required in how we manage the completeness of the process. Pardon me for that. When we think about the something new in our generation, right? And when we think about the process that should be managed in general, then we want our generation to focus on the education that we've received from the United States of America. And that includes anything and everything in our generation. That include the yeses and the noes. That includes the agreements and the disagreements of our generation. That includes the nudity and the sex and the violence of our generation. But that doesn't mean that the community in America should go and be violence, and that's where the problem sometimes becomes a problem. Because the education should now not be educated on television that this has now happened in the community and that has happened. No, that's not. You don't send people to America to go and be killed out and destroyed out. That's what Rubia wants everyone to listen to and to, to not misinterpret in our season. Because people who travel to America are not going to stay there. And the people who have stayed there for years are not there so that they can be on television about it. No, we need to get that management of that process right to be a requires of everyone to get it right. And I require of no one to go and make a news channel, to go and make a news program, right? You all have made YouTube programs and it was interestingly amazing. But what Ruby Lee wants everyone to, to learn is that you don't go and create an environment to have uh, education or to have a news or to have news for today, right? We do not want everyone to go and create news. And that's how it seems in our generation. And Rubia wants to teach everyone today that our generation that our generation, sorry for that, our generation does not have to go and get a news channel to go and have news on television, right? No one to Rubia is not also going to get naked because America is everything and the education is everything and anything. But I'm not going to educate in that way on my social pages. I'm really introducing and also educating anything and everything because that's how we should be educated in our generation so that we are not going to the whole time kill one another out about it and so that someone is not going to the whole time disagree with us with someone else about it. So we, we, the education is not now that you go and create the situation and to now go and say that that's now how the world should be educated. No, the international house of, 
of uh, the United States of America had their television programs implemented. And from their television programs, they then educate our generation. And they always say on their television programs, don't go and try this at home. Don't go and do this. But when the situation got argumented for the international countries, in every one country's people had a representative in America, then the situation got out of control. And those representatives were required to then have had a management program that is that every representative that represents the international countries from the International House of America would then have the representative that is now not going to abuse when the situation gets argumentative because the education includes everything but it does not say that there must be killings and killings in it no the education should be that that is going to be protective to our generation because remember if we only gonna want to educate that the situation is now on television so and now it gets, it gets difficult here yeah, that's why the representatives of every country country in the house of america so that manage every person that comes from the different countries and those management teams should then represent in their countries in a way that and educates in their countries in a way that the information are then getting to the different countries and that is where the protective requirement in the international house of meeting an international white house should be that every representative that's in america that has traveled from europe to go to america that has traveled from africa to go to america that has traveled from china to go to america that has traveled from japan from north korea from south korea and everyone has got a seat in america and those seats should be not only a protective environment for them but for the families that now also are in america that are also europeans that are also africans that are also chinese that are also indians that are also from every part of our generation and therefore the international house of meeting should not manipulate the education that goes to countries and they should not withhold information that are required in every country and that process is a process that should be minutes every year the process should be audited regularly the process should be monitored from the white house and the white house should therefore make sure that that communication that was all these years coming from the house of america should be in all the countries that it's sometimes required to be at without arguments without manipulation the fbi was implemented in america to protect all the houses and all the people that travel to the house of america to go and stay there so that the world can be educated in a way that's going to be non-abusive to humanity and non-abusive to the amazingness of the universe and to the animals and to the to the bees in the in the in the trees and to the birds in the sky and to the amazing dogs and the cats and the completeness of it so we need our international house of meeting process to be redefined yes to be restored structure the way that we structure restructure our human resources process we need the international house of meeting in america to implement that that is required as something new that we our generation are waiting for because the countries are in poverty but it's something is hicking there by america side and the something that is hicking there needs to get right and everyone that needs to travel there in this in the new year and it needs to be there to listen to to go and educate in their countries we need that process to function in a way that it needs to function we need the communication in the different countries and we don't need to send our people to america from a war country no sudan brother richard from sudan that when they i saw you on al jazeera brother richard is all over and they always abuse my brother and he's everywhere in africa and he looks exactly like brother richard yes he's the same type of person yes my late brother richard Philander, and they always show him to me and Al Jazeera, and now they stir Sudan because they want to get into Egypt, and now they stir war in Sudan, and then he flew to America to go and say, you know what, all of these situations that you all are creating are sometimes, sometimes unnecessary. So we need the management process of that to be non-abusive to countries, and we need the management process of that to be to be not to be non-abusive to our generation in general. So we're gonna require the House of America to get that process right. We're gonna require the White House to get that process right, to learn to work with what it is that Putin and Zelensky are required to say and to do in this season and to not abuse their voice in season and to learn to listen to what us Mama Universe educates us from Putin and Zelensky and what do they need to do that they need to not disagree about but that they need to listen to how they need to manage that process of the young boys in our generation and also the Chinese house years that has done all of these amazing social medias and cell phones and clothing that we wear and tables and chairs and everything that 
Britney, look around us, come from the house of China. But the Chinese children are not going to be, be abused by anyone in our countries. They are not going to receive abusive projects. They, they, need to, they, they need to design all of these things for us. And then they need to, and then people want to, after that, send them in wars about it. We're not going to agree with that. We know that China is managing the protectiveness of our generation and they are really the protective part of our generation but you are now not gonna abuse the chinese children kids that has been born there and you are not gonna stir wars in the chinese countries they've really done a lot of our generate for our generation and they have really really represented us very well and people in our generation really depends on their protection when some situations got a bit challenging for us everyone depends on them i always call them my mama martha my grandmama and that is for the European King Charles, your coronation that's coming up. Yes, it sounds amazing. European nation, yes, y'all are amazing, right? Everyone is now intermarried. And everyone is now Rabiaki from Mama Martha, from Omarita, from the European family line, also from the Chinese family line. Some of our family members look like that. Yes, and our, our, our generation is amazing. But the management process of it is important, right? And King Charles, we know that you are the king of Europe, the king of kings and the lord of lords of the world, say. And while you are the king of Europe, we know that a lot of the parenting comes from the European parents that are also parents. But we all know, also don't disregard that Chinese grandmama has been the grandmama all these years. It can be Chinese, Japanese, so they all sometimes look the same to us. And they are all sometimes might be our grandmamas in this whole discussion room of it. And while we are in that, that our generation has to find that the management process of that, we are all part of the one family of one house. We have educated that to our generation and we really don't want anyone to abuse the process of one house. We do not want anyone to learn that they are family of Rabia Elise and now they want to manage Rabia Elise's finances about it. We do not want anyone to have learned that they are family of Rabia Elise's Mama Rita's green eyes and Mama Umpi Abe's green eyes and Mama Anna's blue eyes and Mama Anna is Mama, Mama Anna and Umpi Aibi and Umpi Ialik, Mama Anna's papa, is Omarita's brothers. But what I do not want our generation to disregard, pardon, is I do not want our generation to disregard the fact that Omarita's eyes were green, Mama Anna's eyes were blue, Umpi Aibi's eyes were blue gray, and Mama Anna's eyes changed colors. And with all of the colors in our eyes, the Oxford greens and Oxford blues in our family line, we really do not want the management process of that to be abusive to Rabia Elise in person and to Mikey Arak. I can speak for myself, but my family would also probably want to not be abused by any process that someone knows us and we don't know they know us. Someone has our family lines information and they're managing us and we didn't realize that after we learned that the world is killing one another and then someone gave an instruction about it and then someone else says how did you do that and someone else says because that one is the family of that one and it's a grandpa and no one knew that one was the grandpa so i just want to focus on that process because that's a fakarangaroa process and when i was working at fakarangaroa and when nick bulldog said there's an employment for me and emergent said rubia you're working for fakarangaroa and then i learned that my name is there and everyone's names are there and it's a management process and i say this management process can be dangerous and i'm not going to be managed by a process that i really do not know who's going to manage it i do not know how they would feel about me that has been on my social media i do not know how they would feel the day that i speak of my people of color talk i do not know how they would feel the day that i've learned that i was going to be at least and i'm from there and i'm from there i do not know how they would feel and react and only because of that the management process of our families that knows that they are our families and they are managing these processes for years if these processes are going to be abusive to us 
And then sometimes we're gonna find out about it. But sometimes we're gonna say that we're not gonna allow anyone to manage us who's not really gonna today say that Rubia today is something, Rubia today is not wrong, and they are not agreeing with Rubia, and then things happen in South Africa. And I can only speak for South Africa in this circumstance because this has only happened in South Africa, where South African people were going through things and they said, Rubia, but what is happening in our community? People are going every weekend on funerals and no one knows why. And then it was because of certain processes that were implemented and managed in this world and it went to our governmental house and our governmental house gave instruction to instruction to certain people and then certain people became targets exactly of that and we do not want our generation to be targeted by anyone we do not want our generation to be abused by anyone we do not want our generation to be manipulated by anyone and we want our south african government if they learn that the information comes to them and it's threatening to the south African people. They find a way to communicate it through in a way that we all listen in different languages because the information that I'm talking about today has not been told me by person. No, it's been told me in all the ways that I listen to people. And therefore, when our government really finds a way to, to relay information in a way that is protective, then Rabia Elise will tell you that none of what I've said today, anyone has told me. I haven't studied it in a book and I haven't read it on a social media page. No, I'm speaking of experience of the journey that I've been on that has brought me to 39 years today that I'm on this Vogue business, people of color representative seat. And I'm exactly explaining to you all that the abuses that is happening is happening because of the reasons that I have looked upon situation and I've learned that this is what's happening in this world and only therefore we are really in our season required to say that we are not really dumb about it and we are not really going to be abused about it anymore but we are going to require the management team that manages our generation to work those processes through to not send argumentative arguments to South Africa or to Africa because Africa is now looking for all the brother Richards and then they put them on Al Jazeera and then all the countries of brother Richards must now be bomb down you don't manage processes like that if the world is competitive and they are looking for all the brother richard that is the, from the amazing mama anna home that i want to introduce the world to rubia elise that is the seven born baby like i always say and this year i'm 40 gonna be 40 years on the 22nd of november and i want to say that no one can abuse my rubia -ness. no one can abuse where i find myself into my season i've given birth to two amazing daughters yes baby tanika Kiss is no more there, baby Kiyareki, who is now 12 years old. And the amazingness of it is uh, that I'm independently mama in my house. And therefore, Africa requires me to say they're independently mama in the house. So do not send messages to Africa to be abused and to be manipulated into poverty of how the world wants to look at them. I want everyone to get those processes right. And anyone who's managing messages that goes to the African borders and that abuses our African people, I want anyone who sends those messages who stirs the African people with poverty and with arguments. I want the house of meeting in New Zealand, the house of meeting in America, the house of King Charles's coronation discussion, and the discussions that happens between the Chinese government that represents all of our countries and most of our countries in circumstances like this to really manage this process in a way that is not going to aggress the world further because our generation, the Sudan argument now started also from all of these discussion houses. But I want you all to really decide upon on how y'all are going to manage this process, but do not send arguments to Africa to be abused. Do not send arguments to abuse South Africa because y'all want to look at them into a, as being in poverty, a poverty country. And do not think that the world doesn't realize when war are stirred in certain countries. I always say people who find themselves in war seats never wants to sit there. Putin and Zelensky does not want to sit like that. It is all of y'all's meetings and discussions. And if you're going to abuse them any further, then the world is going to implement other management processes to manage our countries better without having to bomb one another down about it. We really feel that our FBI, our protective services, our defense force can manage the process in a way that's not abusive to them. Another argument that the Parliamentary House of America, Ariel Emmanuel, I am not happy with him. Yes, I'm not happy with him. He is a wealthy guy who manages processes in America. He is, yes, India, from India. I am not happy with you. Ariel Emmanuel, Rabia Elise is not happy with the process that you have managed from a communication line in my house 
and that has caused you to give Harry and Meghan finances. You have shoved my phone full of messages from Harry and Meghan's arguments, and then you went to go and give finances to Harry and Meghan while I was ex explaining in my house that no one gets finances. After I've said it, I posted it on Facebook, and Ariel Emmanuel, you are managing America, you are man managing important processes in America, and you aggressed me in my house, you aggressed my post that I put on Facebook, and you after that, that went to go and sign a deal with Harry and Meghan, and you then went some sent someone to put it for me on Al Jazeera. I want to tell you, Ariel Emmanuel, that management process, I don't know where you find yourself as a billionaire in our generation. I've heard that you are a billionaire, and that you are managing all of these functions in America. I want to tell you I'm in disagreement with you, and I'm not happy with how King Charles have sent Harry to the White House in order to have this whole news story under news television in order for Ariel Emmanuel to, to get money when Rabia says in our generation that is in so much abuse, no one is going to be assigned no other agreements other than you sign people in poverty countries, you sign agreements with them and you finance poverty countries and Ariel Emmanuel exactly went against me, you went to go and sign Harry and Meghan up and then you went to go and run for the mafia in, the, in Italy and you went to go and aggress the mafia group I want to warn Ariel Emmanuel Emmanuel, you are in America. Rubia Elise is directly speaking to you in my season. You have aggressed my house. You have aggressed our poverty part of our generation. And you have done it after I posted it on Facebook, after you listened to my people of color discussions. And then you aggressed our generation about it. You went and you went to sign Harry and it was an Al Jazeera. And they put it for me an Al Jazeera a few days ago. That you went to sign Harry after I have really told everyone that no one is going to give no one money who already has money. The, our generation needs to be provided in the countries where there's poverty. You don't go and sign Harry and Meghan about it. I'm aggressed about it. You'll need to manage that process and everyone needs to investigate Ariel Emmanuel. He is an international leader. He is managing the celebrity house in America. He is an Indian guy and he is Rishi Sunak that's standing in the European parliamentary seat. He is King Charles that has the coronation the next how many days on Saturday on my evoke photo shoot and he is exactly war in this world and I am not agreeing with India that starts war in our, in our generation and I want to ask Ariel Emmanuel to be either set out with where he's at and this process to be investigated but no one is gonna stir war in our countries he has stirred the, the Italy mafia group what are their names Nga we call them Nga Nga somethings yes he has stirred them after he has signed Harry and Meghan a deal and he went in with the police and the police is working with him and he went to go and start war with the with the with the what with the most biggest mafias in this world yes to tell the world that he's in poverty that he Ariel Emmanuel says that he will sign to Harry and Meghan that already has money from King Charles's house I want to tell you Ariel Emmanuel I've watched the whole process of how you always talk to us and I am not agreeing with it I'm not gonna want our mafia guys to get angry about it they are not gonna go to prison because of the drugs on them I have said it the other day and Ariel Emanuel went to go and put them in prison about it. So that's exactly a grace and right. That mafia deal that Ariel Emanuel did, that he went to go and sign Harry and Meghan, and then he went to go and look for the biggest mafias in the world to give them a message. I want to tell Ariel Emanuel today that we are exactly dealing with the Ariel Emanuels in this world. And the mafia group in Italy that had to go to prison for him with all the monies and the drugs on them, that one elder zero a day ago, I want well, y'all to manage the process. Our young children is no more gonna go for to prison for these ma for these guys who's sitting there who's managing the processes and who's abusing our countries i do not want ariel emmanuel to not be investigated you'll investigate the situation and you'll lead our generation in a way that y'all don't send us messages on television and however y'all want to manage our houses and however Ariel Emmanuel is now talking to our generation and then after that he goes to get Italy's mafia and he goes to go and stir war in our world. I tell you, Ariel Emmanuel from India, you will answer to our generation that whole process that you have done and we want everyone to investigate it. That has got to do with the coronation of King Charles on Saturday. No one in our countries are going to get war about uh, Ariel Emmanuel from from India, then India will once again be punished for it. India is already sitting in poverty because of all the punishments, but everyone has that requirement to educate their countries accordingly. So African country, do not stir arguments and do not get aggressed. The South Africans know already to not stir war. Because remember, 
Rabia Elise has been introduced to all the gangsters and mafias in South Africa. Yes, Shorty and his team do not get aggressed by Ariel Emmanuel's move that he now is starting the Italy team. Do not get aggressed by it. But we are going to manage him from the United House of Meeting. And we believe that the White House will discuss and inform us what Ariel Emmanuel was doing in Italy and why he went to go and stir there. Is those guys going to be in prison for years or are easy removing the drugs from them? Remember how we we were educated you remove the drugs if there was rape in crew involved you you put them you you sentence them for that but you remove the drugs from the guys you do not go and send our young boys on the streets for those management teams that is exactly Ariel Emmanuel in our generation that finds themselves in a management seat that that the rules from a certain place and then they want to tell Rabia Elise that he decides and he moves and he does whatever he wants to I want to tell you Ariel Emmanuel and I I want to tell our South African mafia teams, y'all do not work for him. Y'all do not do the things that he requires y'all to do. And mm. why India came mm. to South Africa mm. in Johannesburg, mm. India is going to have to mm. answer for that. Mm. And another thing mm. is the South African mm. government do not feel mm. abused by the situation mm. and no gangsters mm. are going to start no mm. arguments because mm. the gangsters have decided mm. that they are making mm. peace and that whoever is aggressing mm. them is going to be in prison for it. Mm. The gangsters, I say it once again in my leading the generation talk, the gangsters are no more going to be in prison for drugs on them. No, they are no more going to be in prison for alcohol abuse or for money abuse or for bankruptcy. They are not going to be abused for it. You find the correct way to imprison them. You don't send them for 15 years and 20 years and all the nonsense that you all were managing in the world about. Yes, I said I'm not going to get undressed, but I said nonsense. Yes, but you don't send them in prison for all the... You don't send them in prison for Ariel Emmanuel's nonsense. You do not send our colored communities, our African communities, our abusive groups. There's white people, they say, Rubia, it's also in prison, and they went to Italy to go and sell that to me. I do not care. You do not go to Italy to talk to me, and you do not go and abuse the guys. You take the drugs from them. And you do not go and imprison them for 15 years for Ariel Emmanuel to have a good day in it. I do not agree with those processes. Many of the processes right and fine and full, but I know Monday's discussions, we will discuss it thoroughly through it, how you can manage the processes better. That's about it for leading this generation and for our discussion today. But I am really now, I have seen that New Zealand has decided to not argue anymore with the mafias. No, they are not fighting with one another. They are really listening to our people of color talks because they've really learned that they've been abused by a lot of people. And they are really not going to be abused because no army person has to stand in war for unnecessariness the whole time. No one has to be bombed up for it. We want aerial Emmanuel. We were looking, not from the Elise, the aerial Emmanuel is sitting on his seat, not the DJ's baby, but maybe. But it's really, we're looking for the aerial Emmanuel in the race. We're really looking for that guy. Investigate him because our drug guys is not going to be gangsters and our army guys is not going to go to war. We want to deal with the aerial Emmanuel situation rather than a group of gangsters that now goes crazy. So sort out those, 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 all of those information and ways that y'all have manipulated us. Sort it out because Rubia mm. Elise is not going to mm. agree with any further abuses in our generation. Mm. And that's it for mm. people of color. Mm. I know I can say a lot. I know that sometimes mm. I'm not saying that, but really, mm. I had an army boyfriend, Greg, and he's not going to go to war anymore for all of these boyfriend and girlfriend arguments of Ariel Emanuel, many of them, yes. Ariel Emanuel, you might be in love with Mary McMegan. Or something like that, but we are really not gonna laugh about it. I'm really gonna punish Ariel Emmanuel and everyone who has moved at least this season to tell them to move, you know. I'm really gonna punish Ariel Emmanuel about it. I'm really gonna punish the whole Ariel Megan news situation that was all over the news the whole time. And then they somehow received money when Rabia said don't receive money. And after they received money, the, the Italy mafia group was somehow hunted down to go in prison for 15 years about that. Ariel Emmanuel, that whole move of it was wrong. And you're going to have to explain it to our generation because we are looking for all the Ariel Emmanuel. America, many of the celebrity house, they say they showed me a photo of you on the news and I'm wanting you like how. And that is about it. And that's people of color for us for today. Everyone, what they wanted to discuss in our generation. The house of meetings, how the houses are managed should not be manipulated. And we are looking for all the aerial Emmanuel's. Guys, were there anyone else? Donald Trump, because it's his corruption. 
And that's why no, only when it is a rape cases, and rape cases is the prison for that. What is the other case that they had is um, woman abuse is, as a rape cases is the evidence of that. Not for money, laundry, for irrelevant manuals, not for drugs and then no, for drugs, rehabilitation centers, I see. We want every country to have rehabilitation centers. When people are in prison, they don't go to prison, they go to the rehabilitation centers, like a house for them. Yes, you give it to them because every really manual is managing the process of abuse. So you set up houses in the countries that are a drug rehabilitation houses. So those 15 years imprisonment is like going to a rehabilitation house and there they are being educated out of the drug lifestyle. Another thing that we want, my sister said that to me about the rehabilitation houses, another thing that they should do about the rehabilitation they are for, drug, for drugs, another thing that they can do is the rehabilitation for the drugs, even corruption and money, rehabilitation centers for a certain time, and then those imprisonments. Everyone who has been imprisoned for drugs for Ariel Emmanuel and who is still sitting there and waiting to get out and for 15 years, we want all of those people going to rehabilitation centers and we want them to move away from the prisoners who has committed murder. And we want all of them really in different houses and we want that process to be many slowly. And if no one manages the process, then we will deal with it. Now we have got an area manual, then we will deal with all the area manuals in that way. But that is about it for now. Thank you everyone. Have an amazing, amazing, awoken day further.